Hi Leo, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. Leo, thank you guys so much. I really do love you and appreciate you. Check out your bonus reading that I did for you because I love you and appreciate you. Okay, Leo, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, book a personal reading with me, leave me a love donation to my PayPal or Cash app. I really do appreciate that. Y'all know I do tarot full time and that really does help me be here more often. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. So, Leo, this is your double shot reading. This is your double shot messages. So I'll be doing two different uh, readings in one, okay? So if the first reading doesn't resonate, I'm going to pull more cards and do a second reading, okay? Remember to flip off the rolls, reverse them. Could be happening now, could happen um, in the near future. Could have already happened, you guys, okay? Holy Spirit, protect me as I go within the tarot. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for showing me clear on this message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, this is the first story. Okay, scholar. So you're researching. This could be the like the page of swords, page of pentacles type energy. Scholar, reading books, um, doing research, um, doing a project. Okay, so you're finding information out. Or you could be you know doing an intern you could be uh doing like onboarding you could have just got a new job there's a lot of information you need to get okay anything else for story one for leo story one anything else in regards to scholar okay we have misfortune Okay, you're trying to figure out why something didn't turn out the way it should have been. Maybe a conversation. You're like, maybe you had a conversation with someone and you were like, how did this conversation end like this? How did how did we come up? How did this happen? Like, that's not what I said. That's not what I meant. You just assumed, you know, like. Okay. Or you're having a conversation with someone like, I don't know how this happened. Okay, researching something. Maybe there's some information that got out about someone or something. Clarify, Scholar. Okay, you're at the bottom, the strength card. Clarify, Scholar for scholar for Leo. I was going to say scholarship. Maybe you need a scholarship. Okay. The Nine of Cups. Scholar, yeah, there's something that makes you happy. Studying makes you happy. Okay. Or learning information makes you happy so you can have sagittarius in your chart you're a learner you're a scholar you're a student okay clarify scholar you can have water in your chart so there's some information that you found out that made you happy queen of swords okay it gave you the upper hand on something maybe there's something you there's some information you needed and you got the information and someone's upset because they didn't get it okay so someone is upset because you got information or you got skills or knowledge and they're mad because they didn't. They need to do their own research. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups. It's one of your friends or someone close to you. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone rising or Venus, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Pisces, strong with the High Priestess. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please. The moon. Okay, keep this a secret. Or there's something kept secret. Cancer. This is a uh, cancer energy. Cancer Pisces. Yeah, information. The scholar. Okay, it could be a child with the sun card. Someone's keeping a child a secret. And someone is being nosy. Scholar. Someone could be being nosy. The page of swords. So your mom, the queen of swords could be a mom or a feminine energy who's being nosy. Okay, keep this under wraps. So this is you being nosy because there's something under wraps. There's something you can't figure out with the moon card. Okay, use your intuition. You can feel something. You can sense something. Clarify misfortune. The hierophant. Maybe a breakup. The hierophant. Misfortune. So if anybody's doing any type of moon magic or something like that, like, make sure you, like, clarify the hair fan. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, some, someone is trying to attack your money. 
five of wands it's someone who's jealous of you it could be another fire sign an aries leo sag sun moon rising or venus or someone who's jealous because you're beautiful okay this is this could be you doing this to someone clarify misfortune there's an ending misfortune clarify misfortune something just doesn't go your way something doesn't go your way two of swords yeah you don't see something happening or working out for you four of swords this is a um a delay now this could be something you're merely worried about it may have not happened may not happen at all it's something you could be worried about because you have the five of wands and the five of pentacles it's just something you're just stressed out about worried if it happens it may not happen okay two of swords this could all be mental this could be a warning okay get out of your head don't think negatively It's something about a fire, so make sure you don't leave your stove on, don't leave your oven on, don't leave your crock pot on, don't leave the house with a candle lit. Okay, I'm not yelling at you, I'm just politely asking. <laughs> Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands. So I'm getting that somebody's trying to communicate with you and ask you for help. You have this person blocked. Maybe they really need you. Okay. This misfortune could be anyone else. It don't have to be you. Okay. It could be a Taurus or a Libra or an Earth sign or an Air sign or a Fire. It could be anyone. The misfortune don't even have to be you. Okay. I get like, I'm getting this whole storyline like while you're out doing something or you're on the phone with someone or you're just living your regular daily life. You're chill, but you're a little jaded. There's going to be a situation or a conversation. There's going to be a situation that you just so happen to be like present seeing it happen or a situation where you're overhearing it. Okay, maybe you should step in and say something or do something or maybe step in and help someone. Ten of Cups. Okay, someone needs help with their family. In a cup, something needs it. Someone needs emotional help. It's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Ace of Wands. Okay, passion. This is you. You're holding back. Okay, maybe you're holding back asking someone for help, holding back communication. Eight of Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. hermit card so maybe someone is mad because they can't reach out to you yeah, the eight of wands again they're gonna this person's gonna pop up or pop up on you you might bump into this person so i'm getting you could bump into your ex and y'all get into an argument so don't get into an argument with them maybe they're going through some things maybe they just they're they, they just lost something they just went through some things okay ten of swords eight of wands the hermit it could be a virgo gemini libra aquarius or a fire sign okay this could be communication messages or blockages okay that cause pain and endings and someone to retreat into solitude or this is a hermit trying to contact you but or this is someone just leaving and ending it because eight of wands could be travel distance so a virgo ended it and traveled traveled and ended it this could be something you did but you're holding back okay it looks like you're holding back this a new beginning with someone okay so i get scholar and misfortune maybe you went to school with this person scholar and misfortune for leo you could just be young okay you could still be in school Scholar and misfortune. 
Okay, the misfortune is there's a delay or something is going slower than you expected. You wanted something to happen fast, but it's going slower than you expected, okay? It's okay. You still keep keep your emotions, keep everything under control. It's okay. Don't get into fights with people because you're mad about something else. Okay, you're mad about something and then somehow you're you, because you're mad about something else that has nothing to do with whatever this is, you get into an argument or a fight because you're mad about something else or this is somebody doing this to you. Okay, so I, I just see a big blow up. Okay. Or maybe like your brother, your younger brother or your younger sister, you just found out that they're not going to school. They're going out doing something else or they're, they're just staying home. Or your person. I don't fucking know, y'all. So we're dealing with a Gemini, strongly, an Aries or an Earth sign. Okay? Someone's trying to manifest something. Manifest status changing. Moving from the Knight of Pentacles to the Emperor. I should have been moved up. I should have been making more money. I should have been doing this. Okay? You want more love and things working out for you. You want connections. This could be a decision as well. Okay. Manifesting, connect, you know, connecting the spirit and things like that. Something is just going a little slower than usual. Okay. Let's go to the second storyline. Okay. What's, give me a double shot for Leo. This is y'all double shot messages, y'all. Since it's two readings in one, this is a double shot. Okay. For Leo. Leo, please. Okay. I also get I also and this I don't this could be for the first story and second story. Y'all can watch either or y'all can watch both of them, whatever y'all want to do. But I'm getting like someone don't like that someone can't take their own medicine. So things that they do to people, things that they say to people, they hate when it's done to them, they hate when it's said to them. Okay. What's the second story for Leo? Give me a double shot for Leo, Holy Spirit. We got service and we got wife. So you may be asking somebody to do something for you. Someone could be doing something for you. This could be their love language, doing acts of service. Okay? To your wife, you could be giving your wife a gift. Your wife could be giving you a gift or vice versa. Your husband can be giving you a gift or you could be giving your husband a gift. Someone's doing something. Someone is being nice. Someone is making nice, trying to make nice with you. You know, being there for you, opening the door for you, cooking for you, cleaning for you. I'll do this for you. So someone's trying to do something for you. Okay. You could be their wife or someone has a wife. wife and a child or maybe this is what someone wants to do clarify wife for Leo When it, I hear one of your friends is coming into town from Houston. Okay, and clarify wife for Leo. Ooh, I'm a Leo. One of my girlfriends is actually in Houston. If she surprised me, I'm going I'm gonna be <laughs> I would love to see her. I haven't seen her in a while. Okay, wife. The nine of wands. You're guarding yourself, protecting yourself. Maybe you don't want to be a wife. You're just like this is too much work. Too much stress or when am i going to become a wife i'm saving myself protecting myself guarding myself until i become a wife so you could be being celibate or abstinent but until you become a wife yep you're holding back maybe someone asks you to be their wife or asks you to be in a higher level of commitment with them and you're like nah <laughs> nah it's too much of a burden or maybe you're trying to stay strong in your marriage stay strong in your relationship or connection and be like Keep fighting, keep fighting for it, but there's nothing to fight for. It's over. Five of Pentacles. Don't hurt yourself. Don't just don't let don't don't continue to do that. Okay, clarify service. This could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. Y'all know that. King of Cups, service. Someone loves you. Someone's giving you acts of service. A lot of luck. Look, look, King of Cups at the bottom of this deck too. 
It's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So Moon Rising or Venus who has feelings for you. They may be expressing this through gifts, acts of service, rubbing your feet, doing things, you know, taking the trash out. Clarify service. Page of Cups, but they act like a they act like a fucking loser, a child, immature. We got but we have two king of cups. You could be in same sex relationships, two men or two women. Two king of cups. Okay. But then we have the page of cups. Maybe you have kids or maybe they have kids. Service. Maybe you feel like you're like a slave to your children. Six of swords. Someone just wants to move into calmer waters and make peace. Okay, two of pentacles. Clarify the two of pentacles. The nine of swords. You're stressed out about a decision. You're stressed out about something. Someone could be juggling two people, two options. Someone's stressed about it though. Someone can't keep um someone can't keep up. They're they just can't keep up. That's what I'm getting. They just can't keep up. I don't want to say someone has two people, but they can't keep they can't keep it up. If they do have multiple people or have multiple decisions. Maybe this person has two jobs. They can't keep up their stress and they're tired. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got the Hermit. We got the Knight of Wands. It was in reverse, but y'all know I don't read reversals. So we do have someone that could be traveling to see you. You could bump into this person. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very stable, old, could be a little older, um, established. They make money. They have a job, okay? But they could um, act a little player-ish because they could have Sagittarius or fire in their chart. They could be trying to travel to see you, coming to your home. Maybe they want to come pick you up and go take you somewhere. It could be a Virgo or someone who's been distant, someone you haven't been talking to. So someone could just be trying to get close to you with wife and service. They're just trying to get close to you. Yeah, King of Wands. They're trying to get close to you. Or get closer. Close the close the gap. Yeah, we have the world card. They were at a distance. Y'all are distant. Okay. Can you give me a message to close this reading? This is for both um, stories. Story one and story two. Give me a message to close Leo's reading, please, Holy Spirit. I was going to say Holy Ghost, okay? <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> Give me a message to close Leo's reading, please, Holy Spirit. Okay, opportunity knocks. Go for it. Go for it. You could have, who was that? Who, it was a water sign. I think it was Scorpio. No, it was Cancer. I think it was Cancer. Opportunity knocks. So go for it, Leo. I love you. Y'all be safe. If you like this type of reading, let me know. I'll do more um, of these more often. Check the description box. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a love donation. I really do appreciate that, y'all. Y'all know I appreciate y'all. And until I see you next time, check out all your other readings. I love you. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.